For cheap and 1000% legit modded services for Call of Duty and many more, make sure to go and check out this website, DGZ Gold. They do gaming giveaways, console decals, controller mounts. If you are a gamer, then anything that you desire will be on this website so make sure to go and check them out the link will be in the description below i appreciate the sponsor dgz gold now it's time to get into the video yo what's going on youtube this is tradewell and today i'm going to be bringing you all how to unlock dark aether on cold war for multiplayer and for zombies league play etc this glitch is really easy to do it requires an xbox or a playstation this can be done on old gens and new gens but just make sure that you are on wireless connection because if you are on wired it will have a bit of complications and the timing will be differently so we're going to be going over the glitch steps make sure you join my main discord for glitches and make sure you join my service discord if anyone needs to buy dark Aether or anything that requires you to purchase then the links are in the description below or on screen so without further ado let's get into the video and get you instant dark aether before season five also another requirement for this glitch is to have a friend so we're going to be going over that right now so what you need to do is get your friend to invite you to a zombies lobby yes sir right so once you've accepted the zombies lobby invite you are going to be in the game so from this point forward your friend who doesn't want dark aether is going to start up a game of public firebase z once we have started a firebase z public zombies match we're going to be loading into the game and then we're going to be going over the next steps so stay tuned dun 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 that is how long it takes to get into a zombies lobby. Holy cow. One eternity later. Boom, we're finally in the game. So once you are finally in the game, choose your custom class. And then once you are moving around and shooting about, what you then need to go and do then is go to your network settings. This is the person who wants Dark Aether. So go to your network settings, get your Wi-Fi code at the ready. If you have not, then pause the video now. Go to your network settings, click go offline. And then what's going to happen for me, you're going to go one, two, three, four, five. That, that's six. Then go online. And then what you need to do is click up setup wireless network. Now, if you're on PlayStation, I think... You just click go online and it instantly puts you back online. So, but for Xbox people, you're going to need your Wi-Fi password. So once we've whacked this in, we're going to be going over the next steps. So once you're connected back online, you're going to click continue. Then you're going to go back and then you're going to go back. And then you're going to be hit with a, you've been disconnected from the Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War servers. Then from this place on, what you need to do is get rid of the error message. Then you need to press A to connect to the services. And then once you're connected back to the services, your friend will have to have backed out because he needs to invite you to his zombies lobby again. So once he invites, that's the wrong controller. Once his your friend invites you to a party, what you're then going to do is accept it. Game session is no longer joinable. If you have this issue, then accept it from the console invites. Then you'll be zoomed straight into his lobby and that's exactly what we want. So once your friend who's invited you to his zombies lobby again, you are in it, then start here. He, blah, 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 uh, he needs to start up a private Firebase Z. And then once he started up a Firebase Z, we'll be going over the next steps. You need to pay attention to the loading bar. That's the clue. So once you are loading into the game, this bit is very important. Once the loading bar is over halfway, your friend is going to quit the app. So by doing that, it's quitting the game, going back to the dashboard. Once he has quit the game and he is back on the dashboard, then, then you are going to be waiting for a black screen. Now, this can take one to two minutes. So just be patient and then eventually you will be black screened and then hopefully the goods have rolled in because this is the new update and we do not know what is going to happen so i mean if it's uploaded then it's obviously worked so i don't know why i'm doing this video like this <laughs> let's wait for the black screen boom we're hit with a black screen so let's hope the goods 
have arrived in the inventory. If you can dismiss this message, then the glitch has worked. If you cannot dismiss this message, then you need a friend to invite you to a zombies lobby once again. But if you can, get rid of the dismiss message, then boom, as so. So, fingers crossed, let's hope this actually works. We're going to go into our skills to see if we've got unlimited crystals. Get in. It's definitely worked. It's definitely worked. Go to your weapons. Go to your gunsmith appearance. Boom. Dark Aether has been unlocked. And at the start of the video, this gun was locked. So this glitch is 100% legit. It's, it's worked in the new update. Absolutely crazy stuff. So as it's worked, we're going to be going over a little of a few things of the glitches. So in your skills on zombie, zombie can max out every single skill possible now this is going to be great for the next perk that's coming out which is mule kick so you can you know rank that up right up to level five already that is one positive of the thing so field upgrades your skills ammo mods everything you can max them all out with this unlimited crystal glitch now if you want to save the d a ultra why is it why did i say da ultra it is dark aether <laughs> it's dark aether if you want to save dark aether on your weapons all you need to do is go up to your camos equip it to the weapon of your choice i suggest doing this with every single weapon in my opinion then once you are in this section what you need to do is go to your gunsmith onto the attachments page and then you need to click lt or l2 whatever you are on then save as new mod now if you save as new mod dark aether will never ever disappear so go to your obviously afterwards you need to go to the shop then you will find your custom mod in here as you can see dark aether is equipped so this means that i will never lose this for however long this glitches out or not i will keep dark aether so that is how you save the guns now if you want to save some lovely calling cards then head down to your player identity go over to weapon mastery and then in here you will find the dark aether calling card now if you want this dark aether calling card do the glitch do the steps every little bit the exact same that i did them you can equip this to your calling card or you can even equip it to your showcase. Now, you've got to have it equipped to your calling card or your showcase or both for it to save. Because once you reset the game, everything will be wiped back to normal before you even started the glitch. So, that is the glitch that I've talked about how to save the calling cards. I've talked about how to do save the guns, the camo on the guns. I've taught you how to get unlimited crystals. Now, if that does not deserve a subscribe, a like, and a positive comment, then I do not know what does. So make sure you join the Discord. Make sure you join the Cold War Services Discord. Make sure you subscribe. And make sure you give me some love, because that glitch is absolutely insane. So this is the video on how to get Dark Aether, Unlimited Crystals, everything for your Cold War profile. So thank you for watching, and this is Tradewell, signing out. See you later.